just blew it up. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to try and take the 69 Camaro on the lift back there and put it together, take it up to 131 Motorsports Park for their testing tune tonight. Got the tranny fixed. It is sitting right here. It is this Reed Case Turbo 400. Um, I totally forgot that that thing's got super lightweight internals and all sorts of wicked parts in it. And I just threw it in what we're making our street car. Luckily I did because we ended up tearing that tranny up pretty good. It ended up pushing a snap ring out and pushing everything forward, messed up the direct drum, blew the seal out for second gear, which is why we had no second gear. I thought it just rolled a sprag, but obviously it had a lot more issues. Luckily our tranny guy is local. I took it to him. He had the thing fixed in no time. We're gonna throw it back into the Camaro to make sure we've got everything fixed. And then I'm gonna pull it out and keep it for a spare and then throw something else in the Camaro to be able to street drive it. Um, I really don't need to be beaten on that super lightweight transmission um, that we put a lot of awesome parts in with this uh, thing that we're making a street car. So as you can see, got the tranny out of it, basically ready to throw the tranny in. I've got to find the converter. It's around here somewhere. It is a bolt together. I need to unbolt it, clean it all up because we had a lot of shavings inside that transmission. And then put it back together, throw it in there, take it for a drive, make sure we're good, and then I'm gonna load it up and we're gonna head up to the drag strip. There are a couple benefits of having a bolt together converter. One is you can change the stator. Um, but two, when you break stuff, you can actually clean the converter. Look at all the shavings that this thing's got in it. I can actually just take this thing apart, clean it all up, and then throw it back in. We have hood pins. They're ugly, but they're on. I was gonna try to paint those orange at some point in time, but not right now. I'm going to drive this thing around the block, load it up, and next time you see us, we should be in Martin, Michigan, ready to make a pass down the racetrack. made the trip up here to 131 Motorsports Park and as soon as we got here they had a car blow up on the racetrack. They're gonna clean the racetrack up and then we should be good to go. I took this thing down the road and jumped on it. It still blows the tires off in every gear. Um, we're only about 40 mile an hour. Jump on it second gear it'll just annihilate the drag radials that are on it. Um, so it's running good and tranny seems to be doing good. Uh, if the tranny is bad my tranny guy's right there, so got a tranny problem. We'll have Dan fix her up, hopefully here at the track, but shouldn't have any issues. Um, this thing will be good to go. So probably get some footage of this thing. I'd like to maybe put Dan's car on here a few times.
find tools in the driveway. <laughs> How long has that been there? I don't even remember using that. I just went 144 miles an hour. <laughs> I have not used that tool since we put this thing together months ago. that time. Luckily I hit all the gears on the only time I had a buy run so everybody couldn't hear me miss a gear. Is that hood not popping? Um, I think we turned it up in the 60 foot. And we went through the track. I don't know if we have that track for the next one. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I mean, that's about as fast as it can go. Unless it's turned up. Uh, cool this thing down, turn it up a little bit, see if we can't go any faster. 920 would be nice, but I guess we shouldn't get greedy. Well, I said I wasn't going to be greedy, and I got greedy. I just put five degrees in this thing off the hit, so we're going to see if it'll take it. It's a little bit lean, and we don't have any jets. The only tool I brought was a 10 millimeter to adjust the shocks, and since I added five degrees to it, I tighten the shocks up, quarter a turn. Hopefully keep it, if it hooks, from uh, coming up too fast and knocking the rear tire off. So uh, put this thing back in the staging lanes right now and see if we can't go 120 something 60 foot and 920 something in the quarter mile. Tune or something? There's no way I hit it with five degrees in the 60 foot. 
it didn't go any faster. retard on it. I'm going to leave full tilt, everything it's got, and uh, we're going to see what happens.
Cool guys. For some reason, we can't even have a fun street car. And I'm just breaking it. But tear this thing apart, figure out what happened, put it back together, and uh, have some fun with it. Thankfully, Dan, our transmission guy, went right in front of me so I could hitch a ride with him and head back, get the trailer, load this thing up. That's going to be it for this video. Um, be sure to go to hpdepot.com, grab yourself some t-shirts. We got the one with the Camaro on it, got the one with 67 Corvette on it, um, got hats. Buy some more merchandise. We got broken cars. <laughs>